Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Grantham Town Rise to Glory series here in Football Manager 23 with me C. Waddy. Today I've got league games against Preston North End and Sunderland which are forming the bread of a Carabao Cup sandwich because in between those two league games we get to play Arsenal. So let's jump straight in and get straight into the action. So first up, Preston North End at home in the league then on wednesday night we travel no we don't we welcome arsenal to the mirrors for a home carabao cup third round tie and then after that we've got a game against sunderland in the league now one of the things i am currently experimenting with is a slight change in tactic we are going with a slightly different tactic right we're going to bring in Sam Campbell. Davies. And Ahmad Diallo. Play with some wingers to start with. Um Piero Wagstaff or Trails. Thirty, yeah, that's looking pretty decent ish. Ish. Go. So, Preston North End to start with. So, we are in the month of September, obviously. I have played a couple of game matches off camera. Um, nothing really exciting to tell you about those. Uh, we got them um, pretty much, uh, won them uh, fairly steadily. But yeah, I'm I'm interested to see how we get on. Certainly the Arsenal game. So this is going to be a a good test for us. Uh, we did have following the end of the last video, our last game in August. Um, we did have quite a bit of a break before our first game in September uh, because one of our, our games got postponed due to us not having enough players available uh, because a lot of our players were on international duty so we had to uh, cancel a game um, and postpone it which meant I actually got um, about 14 days <laughs> from the last match in the last video till um, one of the ones I played off camera. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's September's been a bit of a quiet month for football at, at the moment. But it's given me a chance to do some training with the squad, uh, with the ones that are here, were here anyway. Um, He's got plenty of space here. Oh, that's well spotted. Decent ball. Just plotting a route round their opponents. Lovely bit of skill. Now then. He's airing after that one. Changing the point of attack. So yeah, I've gone to a different formation. Um, just to try to mix things up a little bit and see if it stops the AI from the other teams, should I say, from being able to predict how we're going to play and force them to change their approach to playing us and then once I've done that, switch back to the other tactic and reap the benefits again. So yeah, we're going back to a two up top, uh, an actual two up top formation, which I don't think we've played since uh, Greg retired in the same. Um, when we stopped having a um, target, a decent target forward in the team. Pass. Into the channel, back on the ball again. What a finish that might have been. 
So instead of the target forward, we're playing with a deep line forward. I was almost tempted to play with a false nine. Um, just to see if that would upset the defence a little bit. By having the player dropping into the attacking midfield position. But yeah, it's... Um, strange strange thing that we're not really I mean, we're, we're dominating possession we're dominating the chances but we just don't seem to score many in this formation anymore good purposeful um, running which is a bit weird looking now to close out part of the pitch. but some other exciting news to tell everybody to today out. from the real world not the football manager world Forward. is my um my my football shirts Get on the front foot. from Macron are now in the hands of a printer like and my custom be shirts here. are being printed and hopefully I should get a call in a couple of days to say they are um, ready to collect and I'll have my shirts so I'm looking forward to that um, the ones that we're actually using in this save and in my Football Manager 24 save as well Steered in, the wasted chance, the batted, providing an outlet on that flank. Great play. Just can't put the ball in the net today. Can we? <laughs> Can get it clear. Nicely worked. Stroke it forward. Off the bar. Hit the crossbar. Right. I do see we have got some players that need a rest. So, him. Uh, Montiero needs to come off. Bertie needs to come off. Steve Anderson needs to come off. Uh, Kai Davis needs to come off. He's playing as our advance forward. Uh, You've got to go out there and make an impact, boys. Pedestrian in possession. Because we are not winning this game of football at the minute. Uh, maybe we could go slightly more attacking. He's looking to find the extra gear here. Boys, hit oh, the hit the pump. Woodwork again. All we've done today is hit woodwork. Oh, Wurtz has gone and got himself injured. Um, 
might be a good reason why I stopped using this formation. disappointing there to drop points Right, so Arsenal's the game coming up in the week. Mm. Oh, Wurtz has pulled ankle ligaments. He's going to be out for two weeks. Right. 70 grand for the Denver Hume deal. Excellent. Reserves drew four all. Right, let's do a quick press conference. The result sees Grant Town drop off the top of the league. You must be somewhat disappointed with that. Has now made 100 league appearances for Grantham. Jared Wagstaff, yeah, it's a great moment for him and I'm proud of what he's been able to do. 100 league games. Four times joining them. work to do hmm right I need to go and have a think don't I how we're gonna do things going forward right I'll see you back here for the Arsenal game ladies and gents okay so it's Carabao Cup day we are playing Arsenal at home at the Mears Live on TV. And... We are going to have a quick little change of things. Okay. What we're going with. We've switched to inverted wing backs. Two ball playing defenders. Wingers on support. Who should be going deep and crossing. A complete forward and an advanced forward. Yeah, that's about right. That's what we want. Uh, box to box midfielder in Anderson. And... Andre Santos as Voluptre. Ding me jiggy. Segunda. Which should be an interesting combination, I think. Right, let's go and put on a worthy display. Where do Grant from Town need to improve here after not being up to scratch against Preston North End? High level, yeah.
going to be at our very best to beat Arsenal. Looking here to take it up a notch. Well, they're certainly pressing with purpose here. Very good run. What can they do now? Oh, that's clever. Oh, good ball. Picked him out. Smokes one over. And he's trying to lob him. Being served a little warning. Concentration required. <laughs> Do -do. We're kind of negating each other at the minute, aren't we? Quiet game. Arsenal have got a corner. Good delivery. And that is a welcome relief for the goalkeeper. That was close. That was close. Come on, lads. Keep the performance going. Orchestrating the attack. Looking for an outlet. And we've got players now that need a break. That's well played. Good reason for optimism here. All right, switch that to deep line playmaker. He's already like a playmaker, isn't he? Or winning midfielder. Uh, yeah, Anderson's got to come off. Uh, we go for Iqbal. Hi, Davies. So we're going to need Diallo. At some point, we're going to have to change one of the strikers. Mm. But not right now. It's a ground from town corner. Place it into the box. Which we did make it with. Still got it. Left himself in need of support. Let's encourage well the lads. Seen. Come on, lads. We need a little bit more from you. A really tidy interchange. It's in! Here's Maloka. He gets a goal. Against Arsenal. Calm, composed, confident. What a super goal. Reds one through. Magnificent! Right, we need to make some more changes now because everybody's getting tired. 
So we need him for him. Mark Bucarella. Santos is looking a little bit suspect in the middle there. We'll bring on Webster. Uh, we could go Sarmiento for De Bourne. Liam Delap for Maloka. Sam Campbell for Claudio. In which the whole team changed. Apart from the goalkeeper. Looking to link up. It is still anyone's. As we try to, to get. Decent looking ball. Brought forward. Saved it. Come on, boys. Seven minutes to go. We can get through this. Cross to the back post. Well intercepted. Short of forward momentum. Right in the thick of the action. Well, they're certainly pressing with purpose here. Nicely met it. Mark Cucurella, the left back, comes in with a big goal. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run, and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. And he's forced to go back. That's beautifully weighted. And that is quite wonderful. Giant killing has been performed. We've knocked Arsenal out of the Carabao Cup. I'm proud of your performance, lads. Give them all the praise. Give them all the praise. Because those lads deserved it. They really did. The passing was very good. Young Mr. Diallo. So War Prowse will be banned for the next round because he's picked up too many bookings. Fair enough. Um, As long as we're in the competition, we've got a chance, haven't we? It'd be great if a championship team won the uh, Carabao Court. Right, well, I suppose we ought to go see the draw for the fourth round, see who we're going to get paired up against. And then we'll go and play Sunderland, won't we? In the final, final match of today's video. Right, 
see the draw. Doom, doom, doom. So we've got Manchester City versus Mansfield Town. Carlisle United versus West Ham United. Leicester City versus Man United. Liverpool versus West Bromwich Albion. Fulham versus Blackburn Rovers. AFC Bournemouth versus Crystal Palace. Grantham Town versus Everton. Another Premier League tie. But again at the Mears. So good home. Good home draw that. And that's going to take place on Wednesday the 25th of October. Okay. We look forward to that game then. On the 25th of October. But for now. Let's go get to the Sunderland game. And um, hopefully finish this video with another victory. Okay, so here we go then. Game against Sunderland. A couple of players have fitness test issues. So we will go and see how that goes. Uh, team selection. Right, let's go and be a little bit more positive for a start. Let's bring... The Bango in for Corey. And we'll drop Corey because he was injured. Wasn't he? I'm not sure. I still don't know really what position to put here. Maybe a deep line playmaker on support there. Sarmiento, give Ahmad a start. Uh, Cucurella can come on. That's, I'm okay with that. Plenty of rotation there. Players are working hard in training. Sam Campbell's starting to give me a bit of concern because he's just not he's not pitching in with enough goals I don't quite understand what Campbell's issue is I know he's young but compared to obviously Shea Barker Sam Campbell not a patch on the player Terrific contest. That's Kai Davis, not really a patch on the player, is he? Brilliantly cut out. He's having a look at what's available. Oh, there's that a goal for uh, Sunderland right off the back. Inside the first well, 10 the minutes. Jack Charles. He made it look like he does it every day. Oh, for some tackle that. Intensity in their play. Oh, super goal! Steered in, meaningless in the end. Clever pass. And look to build on that. Oh, and there's Sam Campbell scoring a lovely goal. Well done, Sam. Look, that's not just about the right technique. You have to have courage and belief in yourself. And the a great run from Smith, the inverted wing back. The ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Good position here. Can 
they make of it. Square from here. And he's forced to go cross field. Quick strike just off target. Almost the perfect outcome. Sharp movement. Early there. ball. Retain possession. What can they conjure from here? Retain possession. Keep hold of the ball. Clever pass. And he's forced to go cross field. Playing down the flanks right now. They're doing all they can. Making it work. He's looking to make Cuts things it happen. Out. Some good link up play there with those around him. Good Ooh, shot Sandoval. Firmly met. Still looks like we've got a bit of work to do, doesn't it? Searching crossfield. What does this offer them? He has it now. Floated through. And he just whacks it away. With the ball to run onto it with a beautifully timed run. He's won. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Thought it let him in then. Place it into the box. Thomas Moore. That's beautifully weighted. It's got through to him. Right, we need to make a little bit of a change. Right, let's have a think. Kane Kessler Hayden at right back. Um, Sandoval's not playing great, so let's bring on a Kai Davis. Capango's not playing great, so let's bring Paolo Carlos on. Got Anderson we can bring on if we need to. We've got Iqbal we can bring on a little bit later on as well. Alert to the possibility of being dangerous, but it came to nothing space here. Decent looking ball. We're going to bring on Anderson or War Prout. Iqbal for Santos. Uh, we are going to do. Uh,
Bengi for Montiero. Uh, the Born for Sarmiento. And we could bring on Maloka. Campbell. Let's go and get a winning goal, please. Oh. No, Ward Prowse is about to get sent off. Oh, that's undone all my substitutes. Um. Mm. Bugger. Paul swung it. He's sharing off to that one. Some real pressure there. Steaming forward. Retain possession. Surely mustn't continue. Now, how will things develop from here? Well read. And the danger is averted. To win it back. We need a goal. But at Can 10 men, we might struggle to get it. He's got plenty of space here. Very good work. He went for the corner. Meaningless in the end. Now, how will things develop after from this here? one? Sharp movement there. Looking to link Did well. Up. Looking to link up. Maybe he's looking Early for a penalty ball. there. He's not going to get it. Played down the flank. Hello, position here. Davies. I'm trying my best. A whiff the ball. Wants to find the goal. Sadly, another disappointing result there. Uh, so, unfortunately, we didn't end the video with a win. We suffered a draw, and I'm going to put the blame squarely on James Ward-Prowse for getting sent off. At 11 men, we probably would have won that game with the changes I was hoping to make. Of course, they would be the team above us in the table, wouldn't they? So it was a top of the table clash, that one. Oh, boy. He's, at least he's only banned for one match, but his discipline is starting to bug me a little bit. Because he keeps getting cards. He does. But anyway, what I shall do now is I'll play the last two games of the month off camera. And then I'll decide to bring you back in October for matches. Whatever matches we go for. Um, 
the Sheffield Wednesday Everton leads at the end of the month. There's Queen's Park Rangers, Burnley, Luton at the beginning. We might do two videos in October then. The first three games and the last three games. Ignore the Wimbledon one because I'm fed up of playing Wimbledon <laughs> in this save. We've played enough Wimbledon matches. So I think that's what we're going to do. So, ladies and gents, thank you for watching today's episode. Some high moments there with the win over Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. And then disappointing to finish on the draw there at the end. But there's still a long way to go in this season. Uh, we can still achieve quite a lot. But for today's video, that is it. So please go ahead, leave a like button. Leave a like for me by clicking the like button. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so. I mean, these things, very simple for you, very easy to do. Don't cost you anything, but obviously mean a lot for me and my channel. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. So for now, take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye.